September marks the 30th anniversary of Hurricane Hugo and the devastation the storm left behind. News 2's Temple Ricky visited a Lowcountry restaurant where a Hugo marker has become a Charleston attraction. Located in the heart of the Holy City, you've probably seen it, walked past it, or even gone inside for some food. Today, we take a closer look at Tommy Condon's and the mark that Hurricane Hugo left behind. Douglas Rogers tends the bar at Tommy Condon's, but 30 years ago, he was a student at the College of Charleston asking his loved one for advice. When I was worried about the hurricane, I talked to my grandmother and she said, we don't leave for hurricanes, it'll be fine. After that, she left for every hurricane. Rogers says no one expected the damages that came with Hugo. He shows us around the restaurant to a spot that marks where the floodwaters peaked. They didn't last that long, this high obviously, but as the tide went out, they slowly went down. Rogers explains the floodwaters came in at high tide through the doors and drains, leaving a lasting impact. I'm about 6'2, um, so it was a good five and a half, almost, you know, probably about five and a half feet. Six years after Tommy's opened its doors, Hurricane Hugo closed them for nine months of repair. The boards of the floor had, 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 had bundled up, and there, were, there was pluff mud everywhere, and crab, a couple of dead fish, <laughs> a little bit of wildlife to let us know who, that, that they were here, still here. And as a way to look on the bright side, Roger says the situation ended up helping Charleston's tourism business. It put us on the map because we were hit so hard by it. And it brought more people down. It, it was, I think it was, it had its good and bad Im implications, I guess. Hurricane Hugo is currently the 12th most costly storm to ever hit the United States. Be sure to stick with us tomorrow as we hear from some of our very own News 2 anchors about their experience on September 22nd, 1989. Reporting in Studio Temple Ricky, count on two.